Hello, hens. It's been quite a while since I've done an entire history of, and you know what? Now that things are starting to like be a bit more consistent in my life, I'm feeling a little bit more consistent in myself, and I wanted to go back to my roots and do an entire history of, but other smaller topics. I've been trying to do larger topics recently, and I've been working on scripts for a lot of longer video essays, but I kind of wanted to just do a small family today, so that's why we're focusing on the BFF family. Little to my knowledge, you actually have a lot more lore than I was uh, originally anticipating. I was actually... I was shocked. I've always thought the BFF household were a household where I'm like, mm, I can take them all. Like, they're a bit boring and the house makes no sense to me personally. But lo and behold, they're pretty fucking iconic. family that come with the base game of the sims 4 the living willow creek and the family bio says free spirit liberty cheerful summer and geeky travis are unlikely friends and nothing can come between these three except perhaps the growing feelings both summer and liberty have for travis i think that should be illegal i'm sorry i just don't i just don't see it but anyway on with the characters first off i'm going to introduce you to travis scott yes that basic white man that those two girls are thirsting over apparently it makes no sense to me but you know what? He's a good self-assured nerd and he's also a computer whiz. So I guess I, there's worse people for them to be interested in, do you know what I mean? He just looks like a normal dude. Until you get to the cheese hair. Why does that man have to have the cheese? Why does any Sim have to have the cheese hair? I can't believe we had so many limited options in the first release of The Sims 4. And the cheese hair was the one that they went with. Interesting take. Interesting take. For his skills, he's got level 2 programming and level 2 video gaming. And he's also level 2 in the tech guru career and he's performing slightly below average unlucky travis then we have liberty lee she's a geek bookworm clumsy and has the aspiration of nerd brain and her original outfit is a little bit nerdy but she's still really colorful and she really likes to experiment with her outfits and you can really see that especially in the other outfits i don't necessarily like the sims fashion choice like just generally the sims that ship with base games some of their fashion choices specifically party wear we all know we have an issue with but you can really tell that a personality comes out in a clothes. And I really did actually enjoy going through that because I only ever see a basic outfit. So it was really nice for me to uh, see more of her personality through a clothes. I really like that little addition. She's in the astronaut career. She's really good. Like she's going places, literally the moon, babe. She's level two in that, just like Travis. They're all level two, actually, spoiler alert. And she's also level two logic skill. And then finally, we have Summer Holiday. And Summer Holiday is kind of the outlier of the group because Liberty and Travis kind of make a lot more sense both romantically but also as friends because they kind of have the same interests they're both into nerdy things where summer holiday is one of the bios states like give me an s give me a u give me an m m e give me an r <laughs> like she is 100 percent the cheerleader she's the jock of the group if you will and she's outgoing active and cheerful and a friend of the world i can see where the sims team were going with her outfits they were trying to give like preppy but she's actually just kind of giving uh, trad wife she's kind of giving um conservative with a small c but i'm not getting preppy from this at all god bless her she's in the culinary career and funnily enough also she's level two since in a theme she's also level two mixology level two cooking and honestly just like <laughs> mix it up a little bit she's also level one video gaming she's a girl gamer one thing about me and summer we're gonna be in fortnite she was they all live together in garden essence it's a 40 by 30 lot and it's also the biggest house on the road worth fifty three thousand. 563 simoleons the three sims starting out in their lives and careers like this is an absolutely huge house this would be a huge house for a family and the objects within the house aren't cheap either like they're good quality objects but with travis over the single bed rip babe literally rip and apparently there's a love triangle between these three which is absolutely not apparent at all there is absolutely nothing of the sort because first of all like I said earlier, why would anyone create a love triangle of a Travis? The women are right there. It's Pride Month, babe. I'm just going to introduce you to... Mm -hmm. Especially because when you go into the relationships panel, there is no relationship between them. They're acquaintances with all of them. They don't have any flirtation, any romantic... No, there's nothing of the sort. So I was let down by that, but... But I was really pleasantly surprised because this is actually The Sims 4's attempt at law shocker i know and it's referencing the my sim series if you aren't acquainted with it it's those dolls that you can dig up around the sims 4 it's also kind of like an animal crossing theme game i wasn't really that into it but i know that a lot of people were i would potentially get into it in the future but i don't actually know that much about it but yeah they're from the my sim series and honestly if my sims has a thousand fans the sims 4 is one of them if my sims has one fan it's the sims 4 if my sims has zero fans the sims 4 is dead because the way that the sims 4 goes hard for my sims like christ and we don't even have an up-to-date spin-off of My Sims to go with The Sims 4. I love a spin-off. 
So, on the topic of My Sims, all three are actually in the original My Sims games. They're also in a lot of spin-offs. I think Travis is definitely in most of the spin-offs, and I think it's either Liberty or Summer, but I think it might be Liberty that's also in a lot of the spin-offs with Travis as well, where Summer might be in about three or four. But yeah, in the original Sims game, Liberty was named for incredibly free spirit, and not, as some suggest, for the liberty she takes with the wardrobe. She actually looks pretty similar to a character in The Sims 4, and I can really see the resemblance. Especially, like I said, with the outfits, the way that they went for that, I can really see the shining through. And she's fucking obsessed with snakes. Like, all of her bios and every version of the game that she's in all talk about snakes. And I feel that I was obsessed with snakes too, just a human kind at one point. Like I said, Summer in The Sims 4 is supposed to really portray the preppy style of Summer in the My Sims series. And her bio is, Summer showed the cheerleading team she really had it. Now that it has been both brought and served, she can settle down. <laughs> I love that for you, Summer. I absolutely love that. Then we have Travis. Don't let his boyish looks fool you. Travis used to be the CEO of a party supply company. Retired at a young age, Travis plans on seeing more of the world and learning how to shave. The CEO of a party supply company is becoming unbelievably clear why they live in such a big house when they're just starting out in their lives and careers. Cushy house is really becoming apparent, Travis. And then the My Sims Kingdom, which is a spin-off of My Sims, which is a spin-off of The Sims. That's where the real Sims 4 storyline plays out. That's the storyline that, that I actually tried to replicate in The Sims 4. So the three of them all attend the Royal Academy. The Royal Academy, again, the size of the house, checking out, like, these have royalty. I wonder if they're not Queen Lizzie. On you, should I say. So both Summer and Liberty fancy Travis, and the player has to find out who Travis likes. And uh, I fucking hate love triangles. Like, they are my worst. I do not enjoy a love triangle. However, one thing that I do like about this specific love triangle, I like the way that the Sims team went with it in both of the girls were genuinely hyping up each other, where one of the reasons I don't tend to like love triangles, especially when it's two female characters vying for one male's attention, is that they tend to put each other down in the right in a lot. And I don't enjoy that. But these are actually really supportive of each other because women are actually really supportive of each other. And then you as the player is the one who picks who Travis ends up with in the end, which makes sense why there's not actually any decision either way in The Sims 4 because once again, it's leaving it up to the player. I do like their addition of the franchise. I was so happily surprised with the addition of lore and finding out that there was lore actually with, within them. But I do feel like The Sims 4 really let them down because... Like I said, they have absolutely no relationship together. So it makes sense why there's not a relationship already established, like where he's picked one of them. But it makes no sense why there's no... Why there are acquaintances in the acquaintance panel. These have went to school together. I think what they've done is they've used his storylines of reference. But I think what really lets it down when he just uses storylines of reference without actually implementing the characters' relationships into the game is that rather than creating a situation that you can play with and then decide the outcome either way, but the storyline already exists without your input. Instead, you have to create the storyline because they don't have any relationships with each other. So you can't see how he interacts with each of them romantically, or you don't have anything there to load into when you start the game. So in essence, there's not really any storyline there other than a bunch of text in the bio, which most people probably aren't going to read. But I think this is just a, less of a comment on the BFF household and more of a comment on The Sims 4 as a whole. Just having a, a text of law rather than established relationships and things that you can actually go in and play just straight off the bat really limits how alive the game feels. What I think could have been better with this, especially because they all attended the Royal Academy together, and that's the relationship that they referenced in The Sims 4, is if they just held back a couple of years and introduced them into The Sims 4 Discovery University, and they went to Brightchester, which is like the more, the old type buildings, I think that could have been so much fun. But yeah, that is the entire history of the BFF household. I know this one's a bit more of a short one, but it was so much, like, uh, I'm really pleasantly surprised. Obviously, they were let down by the fact that the relationships don't actually exist. But I love, absolutely love, a reference to another Sims game in the Sims franchise. Like, even the My Sims collectibles, when I'm playing my own family stories, I keep the My Sims collectibles and, like, put them up around my Sims houses and everything. Because I just love these references. It happened a lot in earlier games as well, where there'd be, like, posters for a new game that was coming out, but less as... I mean, it was as an advertisement to you, I guess, but it kind of worked as an ad advertisement to your sim, but obviously you were controlling your sim, so you would see it. So it's like you were being advertised to secondarily. And also, all of the Sims games' TVs, when you put the TVs on. In The Sims 3, I'm not sure about The Sims 2, but in The Sims 3 and The Sims 4, when you watch movies and TV shows, it's always of the previous game, which is another 
reference that I like. So I really like seeing this whole Sims world. For example, even my Sims, a game I never really played, all come together and merge. I really love stuff like that. Big fan of these overarching storylines like the Goths and the Calientes and the land grabs and everything. But I also greatly enjoy like these little references like these. That is everything that I have for you today. I love you all so, so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye, bitch!